thank you all in the 11th district for taking time out of your schedules to join and celebrate county governance and have an opportunity to have some tremendous fellowship. It's an honor to have Secretary of State Brian Kemp here. He's a very dear friend of mine and a friend of the associations, and I appreciate him joining with us. And as he said, he'll be sharing a few words later on this evening as we get into another phase of our program. We are going to be the third association of county governments in the country in 2014 to be able to celebrate our centennial, and we're looking forward to that with a great deal of pride. In 1914, 135 commissioners came together in Atlanta. They joined together for the purpose of talking about the fact that the state did not have the dollars necessary for the state match, which was required to help underwrite the establishment of the Georgia Highway Department. So the counties of Georgia came together, raised $16 million in bond funds, provided that to the state. The state, in turn, met federal match, put in place the Georgia Highway Department, who began the connectivity between county seats. And from there, the association grew. The initial name of county commissioners was Commissioners of Roads and Revenues, and we spent much of our time from true economic development roots in the connectivity of the state and drawing the state together. And that provided us with the capacity for job generation, job development, and it's been a passion of the associations for the last century. In fact, I think it's ironic, and Mike talked about this in his comments, but we started in 1914 in terms of road development. Now we're taking a look at the second century of service, and we'll be taking a look at the information highway and the importance of broadband connectivity and the fact that you can have a qualified staff in place, a very small structure, broadband connectivity, and do work around the entire world. Stunning, the transition that we've gone through. Tremendous amount of pride of the association, and the pride comes as a result of tremendous leadership. In the back of the room, and you're right, he does hide behind the wall periodically, but O.D. Netter, one of our past presidents, one of our past presidents who took time out of his schedule, provided service and continuity, and has continued to this very day working with us. In fact, he's working uh, in continued service in regard to our efforts from a retirement services standpoint as we're concentrating time and attention on defined benefits and defined contributions. Melissa Cheever's here from, from uh, Tiff County is working with us and providing service and value to us from a defined contributions program standpoint. We have other members who are serving at our workers' compensation and risk management and health programs, and quite frankly, if it wasn't for the fact that the counties have come together and the volume capacity, there's a number of dollars that the constituents would have lost as a result of that. Biggest point of pride, our health program for inmates. Required by law, required by federal law to provide inmate protection. We have 129 counties, and Ben Pitarelli is here in the room, deserves a great deal of, of uh, support for this work, but we have saved the constituents of Georgia over $50 million as a result of moving the retail price down to the wholesale price as we take a look at cost reductions to save the constituents dollars, which was one of the major driving forces for the association. In regard to leadership, Mike Berg has talked about a great vision and the association has embraced that. The staff is working feverishly in regard to making sure that we're spending time and effort thinking about the new tomorrows. But you take a look at next year, the baton passes to Kevin Little, who is chairman of, of uh, Walton County. And then to see Charlotte Nash walk in the room here down in Fitzgerald, Ben Hill County, and to know that she's the chairperson of Gwinnett, realizing the passion and purpose that she has for this organization, it just shows the extension of effort and the fact that rural, suburban, and urban counties all must meet together, and we are one state. And that's, that's a joy to see that level of leadership and it enthuses the staff. <coughs> I want the staff to identify themselves. I've asked them to take a moment and uh, go around the room here. They're kind of hidden out throughout. So starting with Dave Wills here and Jeff Christie hiding back there in the corner. If you'd step up, just name, rank, and serial number, but tell the folks a little bit about the background about what you do on behalf of uh, each of the individuals here. Dave Wills, rank private, zero, zero, zero. <laughs> uh, it's, it's my pre pleasure to be the government relations manager for ACCG, and many of you know I've, I've been in all of your counties at some point over the last few years, and it's just a joy to work with you, and I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, Jeff Christie, ACCG, uh, Deputy Director for Leadership Development. After working for six years as ACCG's liaison to the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension, I came aboard full-time with ACCG in this role two very short months ago. <laughs> ben Pitarelli, I'm the Manager of Marketing and Field Services for the ACCG Insurance Programs, and I've been with ACCG a little over 14 years now, mm -hmm. and I have been to also all 159 counties. And, uh, and what we both know is this is a big state. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way from here and there. That's exactly right. But welcome. 
Sean Adams, an associate legislative director at ACCG on the policy team. I handle transportation, economic development, federal affairs, along with ethics and elections. And I'm Joe Dan Thompson, marketing and field services representative for the ACCG insurance programs. I spent six years in our claims department and I worked with Ken Federelli in the marketing and insurance programs. <coughs> I'm Clint Mueller, I know everybody in here, ACC Legislative Director. I try to advocate on your behalf uh, with members of the General Assembly, state agencies, and also our, our congressional delegation. Um, I've been with the association 16 years and uh, enjoy working on behalf of the county government across the state. Uh, Enos Owen, Legislative Policy Coordinator, been with ACC. Thank you all very much. You've got such a tremendous staff, and I appreciate the work you're doing on behalf of this district of choice. Thank you again to the past. The chairman spoke so eloquently about your service, quiet service to the leadership, and we thank you for what you do on behalf of the board of managers. And Carlos, uh, you too, my friend. You spent time and effort talking to us about opportunities within the state, and we just appreciate so much the board of managers and the vision that you provide uh, on behalf of the organization. So our board is strong, and they're vibrant, and they provide ideas and direction to us. The centennial, as Mike said, is not going to be a celebration at the annual conference alone, although that will be a special time for us as we move across the water to Hutchison Island and accelerate the conference. Yancey Brothers, we have the longest standing relationship in the country between a private sector firm, Yancey Brothers, and the work they're doing with Caterpillar and ACCG. 99 years of service, their first uh, a tractor was sold to Troop County. We were actually in, in Noonan yesterday and talked about that a bit. But you think about a 99-year history between a private corporation and a state association of county governments, it's wonderful to think about that dynamic. They're going to take all the heavy equipment that you've typically seen outside at our conference when we were at the Civic Center. They're going to bring it indoors. We're going to have a road system identified. Gary Black, Commissioner of Agriculture, was with us yesterday. We talked about the Georgia Grown program. We're going to have food products and the Georgia Grown branding, which has been phenomenal being brought indoors, and so that fender floor is going to be something to pay close attention to. We also are thrilled to have Doris Kearns Goodwin, who will be our keynote speaker. She's a Pulitzer Prize winning author, and she's going to come in and talk about team of rivals and the work that was done back in the 1860 election. But it's somebody who's got great history, great note, and is very well received, a tremendous speaker and historian. So we're <coughs> proud that Doris Kearns Goodwin has agreed to go ahead and be with us for our centennial celebration. We're going to focus on virtual counties. We're going to have a toolkit that we're going to provide next year. We've seen federal government shut down and realize that while there's been some pain and suffering that's occurred as a result of that, if you were to shut a county government down for an hour, you're talking about impacting people's lives, quite literally. And so we're going to do more to show the purpose and value of counties and the role that counties play and cover the whole spectrum and the dynamic of what county governments do in partnership with our friends from municipal government. And again, it's always a joy to have those who are partners within the Municipal Association. I just spoke with Lamar Norton 20 minutes ago in regard to uh, some partnerships as we take a look at how do we work together on the local option sales tax issue and take next steps. There's not that negativity going on between these associations. We're spending more time in collaboration. It's a focus of mine. It's a directive from my leadership. They talk constantly about the importance. I hear it from the past presidents. I hear it from current um, membership. I hear it in regard to folks saying constantly, we don't need to be in battle with the cities or the sheriffs or the constitutional officers, we need to be in partnership with them to the best extent of our ability, and that's our passion and our purpose in that regard. We have had a signature book put together, just found out today, it's been approved by the University of Georgia Press, but the courthouses of Georgia will be released. It'll be something I know the Secretary of State Kemp will take great pride in as we have this book released. Uh, Representative Larry Walker from many years ago and noted historian has joined with a series of other individuals, noted Georgians, who have written the preface for this book and the photos that have been taken have been phenomenal. But we're going to have that courthouse book available and just identify this is the seat of power where the people's business is conducted within the courthouses and we have great joy in thinking about the release of that book. And then a series of other celebrations throughout the course of the year. So it's just going to be a, a time for us to embrace county government <coughs> and how important they are. And bottom line is this, the staff is empowered by you. This district has always been a district with tremendous energy and passion. You work very hard together. You do that under direction from the regional commission as well as through other partnerships. And I just so appreciate the time and effort that you spend on behalf of the association. Our door is open on a constant basis and we just appreciate so much having the chance to spend time and effort. We're going to transition now and ask Jeff Christie to come up front. We're going to focus in on some legislative exchange. I think maybe Secretary of State Kemp will join us for this portion of the program. 
and uh, just some exchange with you who are out there in the audience, and then we'll have some fellowship together over a meal. But thank you on behalf of the association. It's certainly a pleasure to be here tonight.